Hey guys, I'm Jess. I'm Dan. And here is the comment we've decided to highlight from yesterday's video in answer to our question, what is your favourite Jeff Goldblum movie? It's Michael Clarke with Earth Girls Are Easy. And if you haven't seen the film, it's Jeff Goldblum, Damon Wayans and Jim Carrey starring as aliens that crash into Gina Davis's pool. See it, it's really funny. There you go. But for today, here's our GS News Roundup. For those of you out there in the vast video game landscape who haven't played Mass Effect Andromeda yet or are still playing it, I've got some good news. Well, we've got some news. It's news. It sounds like the game's multiplayer is getting a harder difficulty mode soon. Apex Missions, Andromeda's multiplayer squad-based challenges, will be getting a new Platinum difficulty soon. Platinum Missions join the existing Bronze, Silver and Gold levels and will challenge players to quote, take your skills to the next level. This comes just days after reports that Andromeda will not be getting any single player DLC and that a sequel has been shelved. The Andromeda team has also been reallocated to BioWare's recently announced sci-fi Iron Man Gears of War Destiny shooter, Anthem, with a small group staying to support Andromeda's multiplayer. Let us know in the comments if you're still playing Andromeda and if you're looking forward to getting stuck into the Platinum difficulty mode. Next up, if you aren't a fan of things that are cringy, you may want to steal yourself because it looks like PlayStation's YouTube channel may have taken Microsoft's Anthem video from E3, the one where they showed it off on the Xbox One X and then poorly photoshopped it to put it on their YouTube channel. Ooh. Yeah. NeoGAF uncovered that the clip for BioWare's new IP actually showed PlayStation button prompts had been overlaid over the Xbox prompts. Not even particularly well. To add insult to possible injury, Xbox marketing manager Aaron Greenberg yesterday tweeted out the Forbes news story referencing the blunder with the caption, oops, and the cry laughing emoji. Now, it's not all that uncommon for the Xbox and PlayStation YouTube accounts to host the same footage. But the problem here is that Microsoft's E3 video was showing Anthem playing on the Xbox One X. So if it is indeed the same footage from them, there's a good chance what we saw isn't representative of what the game would look like on PS4 or even PS4 Pro. Pro. Also, PlayStation players probably aren't going to see prompts for left and right bumpers. Yeah, all that. Now to address the Bandicoot in the room, we've seen a lot of comments about Crash Bandicoot, even though we haven't covered it. But that means you guys are fans, and we've got good news for you. That's right. It sounds like Activision are thinking about making more Crash games. After the release of the Insane Trilogy for PS4, Acti Publishing CEO Eric Hirschberg has said the publisher is experimenting with Crash right now. He explained, we know there's a vocal fan base that wanted that to come back, but you never know if that is emblematic of a larger audience or just this niche nostalgia-based community. So far, we're seeing some real passion for it, so that could lead to other things. Hirschberg added that Activision's first priority is to ensure they are servicing their community. That is GameSpot News for today. Thanks so much for watching and leaving your comments. We have enjoyed reading them and we'll be down in the comment section today, so come have a chat. Happy Independence Day! Yay!